about 5.30 right now. Uh, about to walk into my first morning practice of the week. A little bit exhausted from yesterday, but let's get it. Time for another practice. guy, but when it gets down to like what we have to get here, he, he knows when to, and uh, he'll work really hard for it. The pool, like my brother, really helps me, you know, like training and things like that. But like outside, the pool really helps me more as like a person. He always keeps me humble and he helps me with school. It's gonna be hard training without my brother next year because, like as I said before, he's one of my best friends and you know he makes me laugh during practice. So definitely, it's gonna be hard training without him. I think the most important thing for uh, Glenn that he came from the swimming and sport of swimming was um, learning how to be organized up to the goal, achieve his goals, uh, be more kind of goal oriented, uh, follow his dreams and the really, the really best part is to learn how to do the hard work. Most memorable experience I believe was the time when he started believing himself, when he was uh, coming from underdog to uh, serious swimming, and he started believing that he can do things more and better than he believed before. So that was a few years ago when he finally made a final on a big meet, and not just final, but he won uh, despite of all the odds. And a program like swimming, like he's in, is, is a very tough uh, program when you have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning and jump in a cold pool uh, prior to school. Um, it's tough. And um, to swim twice a day, uh, three times a week, and swim six days a week uh, with one day off consistently, it, it's, it's challenging. And uh, Glenn learned how to be a leader through this. He learned how to be dedicated. He learned about perseverance. He learned how to fail. 
um, not always hitting his goals, but then coming back saying, okay, how do, how do I go back and become faster and stronger?